What's going on guys, Matash here. So today I have a review for you of a technology that you may have forgotten even exists and that is a digital photo frame. Now for those of you who actually do remember back in like late 2000s, these things were everywhere but then they just kind of disappeared after a while and I think that's because the technology back then wasn't very good for the screens but it's 2018, technology's gotten way better and I picked up a digital photo frame based on the advice of your average consumer and if you guys aren't familiar with him I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below he does amazing videos definitely check him out but he put this in one of his gift guides during Christmas and I picked one up because it solves a problem that I have where I take a lot of pictures but I never print them out and even if I do print them out I it's hard it's a hassle getting them framed finding a place to put them and things like that so this solves a problem that I actually had, and I think it may help some of you out too, so I just wanted to do a review and let you guys know if it's worth getting or not. So, let's get started. So, this is the digital photo frame we're reviewing today. It's the NYX Advanced 8-inch digital photo frame, and I gotta say, right off the bat, this screen is really amazing. So, it's an 8-inch screen with a resolution of 1024 by 768 and for those of you wondering like what the actual size is, so if you could think of it like a five by seven picture, this is pretty much that. So the reason this screen impresses me so much is the fact that this thing has really good viewing angles and the color reproduction on it is pretty good. And I guess for the price I paid for it, which is $80, I didn't expect anything this good quality. Also the resolution on the screen being just 1024 by 768 isn't really an issue because this is a device that you're seeing from pretty far away and at the size that it is eight inch, it's really kind of acceptable for what you want it to do. Now that size can also be kind of a downside because if you want to put this somewhere like in the living room where it's far away from people, it's going to be pretty hard to see. I definitely recommend keeping this like on a side table or on a nightstand where people are pretty close to it anyway so they can just take a look at the pictures and just see them going by because nobody really wants to walk up to the picture frame and just, just stand there and watch the pictures go by. Instead if you're already sitting somewhere and comfortable and you just see the pictures out of hand, it's, it's actually a pretty nice experience. Now the one downside to this digital photo frame is the fact that it just looks like a piece of technology. It doesn't look like something that'll actually fit in your home decor, so it really stands out and it stands out in a bad way. So that's one downside to it. Other than that, I think it's pretty good. All right, so let's talk about some of the features this digital photo frame has. Uh, so first of all, the way you get pictures on here is it doesn't have any built-in memory by itself. You either use an SD card up to 32 gigabytes or a flash drive. So you plug them in and then it'll recognize it and just start playing the stuff off of it. It also it can also play um, videos if you have put them on the flash drive or SD card. Um, 720p is usually what they recommend for this thing. Uh, it has a built-in speaker. So if you want to actually hear volume out of it, if you want to hear sound out of the videos, you can. I generally leave that off because it's can be a little distracting you just have it in a room and it just starts making sound all of a sudden it's a little distracting so I generally keep it muted but it is there if you want it um, it actually even has a 3.5 millimeter jack out so if you want to put it to better speakers if you have them once again I don't see myself ever doing this but it's there if you want it so another cool feature that this thing has is it has a calendar mode. So if you have this somewhere like a kitchen, this is perfect for that because it can should display you the calendar and then still continue showing you all the pictures that you have on the SD card or flash drive. So one of the features that actually doesn't feature is any sort of Wi-Fi connectivity whatsoever. So you can't connect it up to like a cloud service where you store your photos and have it just load them from there. And I think that leads me to my biggest problem with digital photo frames. It's the fact that it's still there's still a hassle in getting the pictures onto the photo frame so I take a lot of picture my I take a lot of my pictures in raw format and I have to first of all go through my entire library pick out the images I want convert that them JPEGs put them on a flash drive or a SD card and then plug it in and anytime I want to put more pictures in I have to take the SD card out plug it into my computer again transfer all those pictures over it's just kind of a hassle. So finally, to answer the question whether I think this product is worth it or not, I want to say it is worth it if you're willing to put in the time to upload and update your pictures onto the digital photo frame. It's a great way to show it off. The screen's really nice and it can really do justice to your photos. Additionally, I think this makes a great gift if you want to give it to someone because you, what you can do is you can load it up with a bunch of pictures and give it to someone like a parent or a grandparent you know, if you load up with a bunch of family pictures, it shows that you're being really thoughtful because not only did you spend the money and get them something nice, you also let put in a bunch of work to give them something that's very thoughtful. So it really makes a good gift. Um, it even works for like a significant other if you want to load it up with a bunch of pictures of your YouTube together. So 
great gift definitely consider getting one and that's pretty much all i have for you guys in this one um if you guys have any questions about this product go ahead and leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that like button if you guys actually enjoyed this and then don't forget to hit subscribe because uh, with youtube's new rules i kind of need more